Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol GHSI. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. Well, this here may look like several days worth of time. It's actually this uh, today's price action broken down into 30 minute time slices. I like to do this time frame that does a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price and then makes mapping outward levels of support and resistance a bit easier to see. Done this analysis several times in the past, so that is where these green and red line annotations are coming from. But after today's price movement, definitely some updates need to be done. First thing I'm gonna do is a little house cleaning real quick, just get rid of these lines. Yes, those levels still pertain, they're just not relevant right now. And from a presentation point of view, I don't wanna risk causing clutter and confusion because there's lines everywhere. So let's try to keep this as clean as possible. The first update though that does need to be made comes about based on a foundational rule in charting which states when levels of resistance are broken and closed above, you wanna see them act as support. So going into next week, 30 cents would be what I would call the ideal level of support. I mean, Hickley, what would make this chart look the absolute best going forward? And that would be if the price can stay above 30 cents. Now, with that being said, don't get me wrong. It's not like if the price falls below 30, that implies the entire chart is destroyed or ruined or anything like that. But yeah, if the price could manage to stay above that level, that would definitely be a big sign of power going forward. Taking a step back and looking at all this from the bigger picture point of view, that is where the purple line there comes into play, the 50 period simple moving average. Keyword being moving, as time goes by, that line is gonna move itself higher and higher. So a very basic yet highly effective way to judge the health of the move, that right there being defined as the move. Just watch that purple line. As long as the price stays above that line, that then the um, you know as the line itself moves higher and higher, right? Because it's a moving average. Then the bulls are in full health. The bulls are in full control. However, you must visualize that. That is what it is being represented. So again, yes, staying above 30, that would be best case. That would be great. But from the grand scheme of it all, as long as the price is above that purple line, then the bulls 100% own the chart. What about levels of resistance? Initial level of resistance, keep an eye on, is just simply where the party stopped today, and that was right up there at 33 cents. So 33 will be public enemy number one going into next week, although resistance levels don't matter. What do I mean by that? What matters is what this price has already been doing right there, building those higher bases, or if you want to picture those as stair steps. So as long as the stair steps continue to be built in the upwards direction, then everything else will take care of itself, including breaking levels of resistance. So focus on those healthy consolidations, focus on building those higher bases, and just sit back and let the trend continue to do its thing. One of the biggest questions that I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together a free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then click on the image that is up on the screen right now and I will email you the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point and best part, it's completely free. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know if you have any questions.